Husky fans, welcome to a basketball edition of the Husky Highlight Show. The Washington men's basketball team started its home conference late with a rivalry game against Washington State on Saturday. The Huskies, of course, started the season off on an 11-game winning streak, which tied the mark for the best start under head coach Lorenzo Romar. Since then, they've fallen on some hard times, having lost three in a row. But Nigel williams Goss did his part in trying to end that streak. The sophomore drives into the lane and puts up his signature floater to put the Huskies up 6-2. Later, he grabs the rebound off this Robert Upshaw block and drives into the lane again for another basket. He made the free throw to put the Huskies up 9-2 with 16-34 left in the first half. Here come the Huskies off a missed three-pointer from Devontae Lacey. And again, who else but Nigel williams Goss to get the layup? Huskies go up 13-6. You'll be hearing from williams Goss a lot in this game. Something else you'll be hearing a lot of is Wazoo's three-point shooting. The Cougars were really good from beyond the arc, including this three from Brett Bass. And it's Bass again. And the threes keep coming for Wazoo. Q Johnson connects here. Then Bass again from long range after Ike Regu drives and kicks. Then again, that's Johnson from downtown. That's five straight three-point field goals for the Cougars, and they're down by just one with 6.27 left in the first. But of course, it's williams Goss again, this time coming off the screen and pulling up for a jumper. He and Bates were tied in halftime with 11 points each. williams Goss was also dishing the ball out. Lacey misses the three-pointer. williams Goss grabs the rebound and pushes it up the court. And lobs it to Sean Kemp Jr. for the two-handed slam. The alley-oop puts the Huskies up by five with 4.49 left to go in the half. Here's another assist from williams Goss to Kemp. Huskies up by four. Those Cougars just don't go away thanks to that long-range shooting. Johnson lines up from beyond the arc and nails it. Wazoo pulls to within one. Andrew Andrews finally gets the UW in on the long-range shooting party to tie the game up at 37 all heading into halftime. Wazoo was 7 of 14 from three-point range in the first half. That trend continued to start the second half as Ike Uregbu hits a three here to put the Cougars up by two. But there he goes again, williams Goss answers with a mid-range jumper. He was just feeling it Saturday. We're tied at 43. Devontae Lacey drives into the lane and lost up a floater, draws a foul. The Tacoma native made the free throw to put the Cougars up by five. Here's Lacey again, weaving through the lane and throwing up a left-handed layup in traffic. Cougars up by seven with 14.04 to play. But Mike Anderson answers with a big three from the corner. The Huskies only made four total three-pointers in this game. Later in the half, it's williams Goss again with that floater again. And here it is again, and one. williams Goss is fired up. Here, williams Goss shows he can get it done on both ends of the court. He deflects the pass from Nide Redding and takes it coast to coast for a lay-in. Huskies are down by two still, 6.08 to play. Some more good defense from the Huskies. This time it's Anderson with the steal. He dishes it to Andrew Andrews for the game time layup and one. Andrews made the free throw to give the Huskies their first lead since the 1905 half of the second half. Now we're under 40 seconds left. Wazoo up by four. williams Goss again with a pull-up jumper. Huskies to within two. UW takes a timeout. After the timeout, they foul Lacey to put him on the line for two shots. Lacey, of course, is from Curtis High School where Isaiah Thomas went. But Lacey never got a recruiting letter from the UW, never got any calls. And he's always been pretty good at making the UW pay for it. He makes these two free throws to put Wazoo up by four. williams Goss answers with a basket to pull within two. On the inbounds, Lacey is fouled again. Andrews fouls Lacey here. Andrews and Lacey are good friends, having played a lot of AAU ball together in the Pacific Northwest, Andrews being from Portland, of course. We're at 26.1 seconds left. Huskies down by two. Again, Lacey makes two more free throws. We have a three-point connection for the Huskies. Mike Anderson, a huge three. He was the only Husky with multiple three-pointers on Saturday. The UW trails by only one now with 15 seconds left, and Lacey's back on the line. And you know how this goes. Bang. Bang. Two free throws. One last try for the Huskies. Down by three with 15 seconds left. williams Goss brings it up the court. Tries to use that Kemp screen, but gets stuck. Needs help. Finds Anderson, who throws up an awkward three-pointer that goes begging. And that's it. 
Huskies lose. Cougars are ecstatic. They mob Lacey on the court after the 80 to 77 win. Lacey finished with 25 points, 20 of which came in the second half, including a perfect 7 for 7 from the free throw line, 6 of which came in the final minute. Williams Goss was just everywhere. He had 30 points, 6 assists, 1 block, and 3 steals in 40 minutes of work. He didn't get a single breather, but after it all, the Huskies dropped to 11 and 4 and 0 and 3 in Pac-12 play with yet another loss. After the game, Williams Goss met with the media to talk about the losing streak and what's ahead for the Huskies. Uh, honestly, I think the, um, the Stony Brook loss was just one where we didn't come out with a lot of energy uh, from the start. Um, Cal was better. We started out really strong, but we didn't sustain it. Stanford, we lost the game. You know, I, I thought we played well enough to win. Um, like I said, I hit those two free throws at Stanford, and we, and we win that game. So we, we liked where we were at at Stanford. We felt like we got our team back. Um, and tonight, um, again, it, it was just those defensive breakdowns like I just talked about. And um, I, that's another thing I've talked about. We just were not guarding um, like we did at the beginning of the season. There's more breakdowns now than there were. Um, and that's on, uh, that's on us. And uh, we got to do a better job of not letting that happen. Um, there's still 15 games left um, of conference. And if you ask me, we're good enough to win every single one of them. You know, we rattled off 11 in a row to start the season. Um, you take it game by game, who knows how it can finish. But um, there's obviously areas that we have to improve on. Uh, but we feel if we do those things, uh, we can have a heck of, uh, of the rest of the uh, conference play.